Hello everyone, Phil here, and today is September 27th, 2022, the official release date of Grounded, and if you're hearing me say that, you might be like, Grounded? Isn't that that game that's been out for like a year or two in early access, where it's like Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, you, you got shrunk in and you're in a backyard trying to survive against bugs and other things trying to kill you? And the answer is yes, but today is officially the release, they actually have a full story-based campaign in the game. I'm very interested in this. So today, I'm going to cloud stream it for an hour, see if I like it. And if I do, I'm actually going to consider playing it as a full playthrough in the next week or two. So let's see what I think for this first hour. If I like it, I'll probably download the whole game and we'll continue, okay? <clears throat> so I tried this last year, and I really liked it for what I played. But I never got a chance to go back to the game after only previewing it for like an hour. So today, we're actually going to try to give it a real shot. Here we go. The any button. It's my favorite one on the controller. Arachnophobia safe mode if you're afraid of spiders. I'll turn on larger text. Large subtitles. Okay. Alright, we're going to do a new game. Single player. Here we go. You need to pick who you want to be. So, Max, Willow, Pete, and Hoops. So, it even tells you with your... You look... Moderate stress level, manage thirst, hunger, health, stamina while you fight to survive. Mild, medium, woe, creative, creative with bugs, and custom. I guess we'll go medium. It's supposed to be like the default, right? <clears throat> I guess we'll be we'll be nerdy Pete. How about that? Nerdy Pete. My name's Pete. Peter. My friends call me Pete. You don't have any friends, Peter. You don't have to fool, you know. Yard world name? What the hell does that mean? Huh? What's going on, Jade? Yeah, we did check out the Disney game already. Um, it's a good late night chill stream game, and I might do it as a chill stream in the future. <laughs> Yoked girth. Good morning, Brook Hollow. Today is October 20, 1990. This Whoa. is your news. She looks like a zombie. A breaking report. Or an android. Stepford wife. Information that more <laughs> local teenagers have gone missing. They were last seen earlier this week, and the only connection between the teenagers is that they are all... What is that accent? Indian? This could be linked to the disturbing trend of other possible abductions and missing teenagers from our otherwise quiet town. So the kids have disappeared. Where could they possibly be? They have the whole breakfast set up. Oh, there's a bug right there. There's an ant. A bunch of ants are eating their food. Now to other news, Call of Duty may eventually be an Xbox exclusive. And PlayStation execs are going apeshit about it. <laughs> Obsidian. Here we go. Nice 80s synth music. Dun 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 dun. Volume's a little low. Doo, 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 doo. It does sound like Stranger Things, you're right. It's that 80s synth music. Dun 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 dun. Dun dun, dun dun, dun dun, dun dun. What the heck? What is that? A parachute with a briefcase attached? Uh, what the? Explore your surroundings. Oh, Pete. Oh, looks like you
you really stepped in it this time. How's the volume level, guys? How old are you? Hello? Hello? All right, Pete. Remember your scout training. Step one, get your bearings. Hold on, because I have to make the camera a little bit lower here. It's actually blocking the objective, so let's move it. <clears throat> here we go. It's better, right? Oh, now it's not centered. Oh, son of a bitch. How about now? A little better? Okay. Jump with A. Jump around. Volume can be louder. I thought it was kind of low. The game is lower than all the other games I played today on Game Pass. So you jump around. You jump around. You jump up, jump up, you get down. There you go. Your boy Lem did another $10 tip. And he says, you know, I just needed to restart my PC. Yikes. For those who don't know, Lem was trying to tip earlier. It was giving me all the kind of weird errors about hacking and stuff. He was like, what? So now he restarts his PC and it all works. Thank you, your boy Lem, for the tips. I appreciate that, man. All right, let's explore our surroundings. <clears throat> oh, no. What is that noise? I hear it too, Jasper. It's weird, isn't it? It's a weird noise. So look at this. You were one of these kids, and you were in a, a briefcase. How odd. That is weird. Why would the kids have been put into a briefcase like that? <clears throat> Whoa. This is pretty cool. Slurp some tasty water. Gross. Nab a peblet. Going to get food. Find and eat some food. I don't know what's making the noise. Whoa. Signal detected. What's that? It sounds like a radio signal. It must be being transmitted from nearby. There's a whole bunch of bugs. See, there's all different kinds of bugs. It's into the radio. Is that a plant fiber? A bunch of rocks and plant fibers. <clears throat> Someone set up a base camp, field station. Spacer safety test. 19, this is set in 1989. See that? August 8th, 1989. Uh, location, Tully's backyard. Supervising scientist, Dr. Wendell Tully. Power fluctuations are within acceptable range. The machine itself continues to operate as expected. With the proving of the platform components is holding up quite well. The pylons, however, are a finicky trio. Maintaining the beam angle requires regular obstruction removal. The art is simply too alive for precision instruments. Oh, Euclidean space, you fickle mistress. Reminder, check embiggening cell diagnostic before end-of-day protocols. Okay. <clears throat> right? Kevin says, bugs in the air. We got bugs in the air. Are they flying everywhere? Consume. Better than starving, I think. Granola bars. I like those. They're like chocolate chip granola bars. Like, I used to eat the Quaker ones. They were good when I was a kid. All right, what do we got here? Uh, resource analyzer. Analyze. Well, the logic dictates that there are probably more of these stations around. Maybe if I keep searching, I'll find some clues. Or some one. Analyze the peblet. Science! Peblet spear, peblet axe unlocked. Raw science up. Brain power up. Duck Master just did a super chat. Thank you to Duck Master for the super chat. I appreciate that. <clears throat> thank you, thank you for the support today. <clears throat> cool. It's a cute duck, too. And it actually is a super sticker. It's an anthropomorphic lemon that is kneeling and, like, posing in front of a bush. Huh. Just Chillin' said, incidentally, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids came out June 23rd, 1989. Same exact, you know, time frame that this game is saying it took place. 
So it's probably an homage, right? An homage reference. All right, so I need to use this to analyze items. See? Player camera. Peeper. Which I'm going to assume is like binoculars. Photo mode. Hot deposit nearby storage. Open map. Open crafting. Open inventory. Analyze a plant fiber. Sprig? I took a sprig. How do I get how do I get a plant here you go, plant fiber? Okay, analyze the plant fiber. Here we go. Science. So, new crude recipes. Crude rope, fiber, bandage, and a plant slurry. Unlocked. Brain power up. What about if I do this? Whoa, a spiky sprig, a trail marker, a roasting spit, sprig fence, and a plant fiber. You can make plant fibers out of this. Brain power keeps going up. Every time I look, I analyze one of these things. Interesting. <clears throat> okay. Now what? Uh, craft a pebblet axe. Uh, okay, so. It says here. Pebblet axe is uh, three sprigs, two pebblets, and a crude rope. How do I make a crude rope? Uh, three plant fibers. So we have to go grab some items. So is that enough if I break those down? Oh, wait. You don't need to be in here to do it. So my crude rope needs three plant fibers. How do I make a plant fiber? Oh, it's a fiber bandage. Plant fiber. Can't craft that? No. I need to find one more plant fiber, apparently. Hmm, curious. Avidoidia. Okay. I need another plant fiber. Here we go. So, crude rope time. Craft. Okay. Crafted a crude rope. Now, I need to make the axe. Let's do it. Should I do it? Equip the axe. There we go. Can I analyze the axe? No. It's an invalid object. Cannot analyze that. Look for more science equipment. You can block attacks. Oh, cool. All right. <clears throat> Time it right to do a perfect block. Interesting. Chop that down. All right. Just gotta keep looking around. There's no, there's no mini map or anything as of now. So I guess we just kind of walk around and explore. What's this over here? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Creepy noise. Oh. Look at that. <clears throat> so there's a bee up there. A bunch of bees. And then you can see up there, there is some kind of a... What appears to be a gun or laser or camera pointed down at the ground. See that? Can I... Craft anything that you can heal with? 
need three plant fibers and two sap. We have not found a sap yet. Christopher did a super chat asking if I play Fallout 4 soon or no. No. If I play Fallout 4, it'll be late this year or early next year. We already played our yearly uh, Bethesda game of Skyrim in the first half of this year. Roy Barnes did a super chat saying, Will I ever live stream 3DS games? One of the best games of all time is Dragon Quest VIII. You never played it. I have a 3DS XL that has a capture card installed in it. I did do a few playthroughs many, many years ago with that. And then basically there was no reason to anymore because there was really no desire for it anymore. Especially since the Switch came out. <clears throat> Everything was always on the Switch. Um, rather than being on a handheld exclusively. So in reality, I didn't get as much use out of it that I, as I probably should have. Um, I don't know if it still works. We could always try it and test it. And if it works, then yeah, uh, we could do playthroughs on it. I just don't know if it works. I don't know how it would work as a video source. I think you plug it in, you run into a program, and then it starts working as a video source. But it's been so many years since I used it, I'm not exactly sure how. So I'd have to mess with it. Okay. Good says you had a really good time watching the Modern Warfare 2 beta that I did. I'm, I'm happy about that. I liked it as well, and I can't wait to play it. Look at the size <clears> of that thing. So here we are, a mysterious it's machine. the size of a, a bathroom scale? Okay. Curiosity killed the tiny feet. Huh. Well, looks like this thing hooks up with those lasers. I don't think that worked properly. It seems like the machine needs all three lasers to function. So you have to solve the problem of what's going on it. with the lasers. Yeah. Uh. Maybe you have to go to each individual laser. <clears throat> See them? So there's different ways to go, and you have to go to each one. Let's go this way. Let's see what's over this way. Yes, I am buying Modern Warfare 2 for sure. I like the beta enough. What was that? There's some bugs here. I got an axe if I need to fight them. Consulting Detective Weevil, hot oh, on Weevil. the trail. He's got a nose for the truth. Ha <laughs> he's cute. Cute weevil. Okay, I'm gonna grab a mushroom. New item. It's a, it's a consumable item, apparently. The mushroom. Let's grab some of these. They're kind of cute. I like the weevils. Uh, here's some water. A dew drop. Slurp the dew. Don't even need to boil it. Nice. This game's pretty fun so far. I actually like the premise. So the question is, crap, which way? This gets us to one laser, but this over here is the laser that's not working. So that's where we should head. <clears throat> hmm. Still talking. <laughs> There's the laser. How do I get to it? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh no! A deadly spider! Oh, I've done it now. I'm in trouble. I'm probably not equipped to fight this thing. But try! Or we were junior. That's sad. That's the end. That's the end of the game. You're dead. You died. You were killed by a spider. After dying, you respawn at your last respawn point. You can set them at rest locations like a lean to. They want me to craft a bandage. I need three plant fibers and two sap. I haven't found any sap. Without sap, I can't craft. Your prior items are in your backpack where you died. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't have much anyway. <clears throat> uh, I need to find sap. Is 
Damn. I need, how can I get sap? Jesus, you're strong, but no sap. Where do we get sap from? Hmm. I like this, but I don't know. I don't. I wish I understood the mechanic. Like maybe. Nope. According to this, your axe is not strong enough to cut the husky weed. Can't do it. <clears throat> Where do I get sap to heal? I don't know. Sap is on wood? Yeah, but where's wood? I haven't seen any wood. Right? I haven't seen any wood yet. Should we go for this one? See what's this way. Hmm. Lord Prince Albert did a super chase. If you if you were if I were you to be careful, my crow across an ant you tried to kill that was in your house a couple months back and they might remember you. Uh, now those are long gone. Like I said, we were doing our best. We were putting down poison and stuff, and uh, and then what happened was hey, a common example of the Fromicity family. An ant? Hello, is a friendly ant? Is a friendly ant? Um, between the poison. Oh, did I find sap? Okay, good. I need two sap. Between the poison and then these landscapers finally started coming by for the summer months. And they basically did a full, like, like cleaning of our, our backyard. When they did that, that was the end of it. Because I get the feeling that wherever the anthill was got disturbed by their cleaning. And uh, so they never came back. Which is good. Because we didn't want ants in our house. It was pretty annoying. There's, there's the laser. We gotta figure out what's wrong with it. Okay. Oh, should I? Oh, hello. You can pet the ant. Yeah, he's not. He's not a. He's not an enemy. Worker ant, not an enemy. That's nice. Okay. Um. Here we go. Craft. Crafted our first bandage. How would I use that? Like this. Okay. Your hot pouch. So at least I can heal myself now. All right, let's see what's going on with this turret. Turret. I guess it is kind of a turret, but let's see what's going on with this tripod. Like, uh, why is it not working? Oh, there's smoke. Oh. Whoa, why don't you just stay over there, small red insect? We got some small red bugs that are eating the wires. Ew. A lawn mite. Grab the torch. Torch is... Two sprigs, two crude ropes, dry grass chunks. Dude, there's a lot of resources management in this game, huh? I don't have any of those. It's getting quite late. I should construct some shelter and get some sleep. So they're telling you the items you need to make a shelter? Yeah, look. They're guiding you.
chop the clover. What the? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Another one. Might fuzz. Clover leaves. I'm grabbing everything they're saying. I'm gonna have to make my lean too soon because it's getting dark, see? So, do we have enough? Let's see. It needs three clover leaves and two sprigs. So, yes, we can make a lean too. All right, here we go. Build. Build. There you go. Here's your lean to. Use. Sleep eight hours. Set your set your respawn point, first of all. Okay. So if I die, I respawn here. That's cool. Sleep eight hours, but you'll wake up in the dark. So not yet, but at least we have it now. So when we need it, we can go here and sleep. See that? Okay. So I need to craft a torch. I need to make crude rope and dry grass chunk. Crude rope I can make right now. How many crude ropes do I need? Two. All right, I need more plant fibers. I need another one. Plant fibers like everywhere, right? The most common thing, probably. What's that? Oh, no. Oh, no! Oh, my God! Ah! No! I honestly have no idea. I don't know why I died after respawning. That was really weird. Anyway. I thought I lost you. Okay. So I got my rope. All I need is dry grass chunks. Now, where would I get those? <clears throat> dry grass chunks. Oh, probably doing this. Yup. Craft it. Alright, I got a torch. So now, if you just equip it, does it work? By the power of Helion, champion of the sun. Aha. Let's go in here. Get that, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Disgusting freaks. Might up ahead. The goblin of the backyard. The goblin of the backyard. You know what they say? A foolish is the hobgoblin of little mice. 
this is basically like the intro dungeon, right? That's it, we fixed the laser now. Slime mold stalks. Cool. This is blocked. Looks like later you can remove this. See that? This is like if you have a hammer, which we don't have yet. Pub pebbles. Later on you can oh you can break those. Not yet. Alright, so we actually fixed <clears throat> this first laser. That's cool. And uh, now we can go try to take on the other one, figure out what's going on with it. This is pretty neat. I actually like the game, although definitely it's it's going to be challenging until you get your bearings and you, you understand the basics, I think. So now it's getting late. I'm probably going to have to sleep at my lean-to now. How much? Wait, now wait a minute. You wake up in the dark? What if I don't want to wake up in the dark? Right? Yeah, it's not good. I'll wake up in the dark. <clears throat> hmm. Can I recycle? I'm gonna relocate. Oh. I should recycle the components and head to the other laser. Okay. So now where's the other laser? I'm not sure. getting dark. I can't see. And I don't, <laughs> this is not good. It's really hard to see out here, man. Lawn mites are all over the place. This is the right way. I can't tell. It's so dark. No, that's the working laser. Okay, the third laser is on the other side, so we went the wrong way. Shit. the one we just came from. Oh, God. Here's where they're coming from. There's another mite cave. Alright, we're heading back at least to the center, and then from there we can probably go where we need to go. Here we are. Okay. Oh, wait. Are you serious? Look at this. This is easy to figure out now. The reason it's blocked is because there's this thing in the way. All I gotta do is chop that down and we're good to go. <clears throat> Look at that. Oh, but there's a big Hark, bug right there. yonder lady of the Clover Forest. On what errand does the day find you? There's a big bug. It walked away. Alright, so this is it right here. This one. Piece of grass. <laughs> Investigate the machine even further. What is this thing? What the? an oak tree explosion. What the heck? Wow. 
Well, <laughs> great. <clears throat> uh, I'm not in a very safe spot. I could make another lean-to and sleep, but then I'm going to have to get food and drink when I wake up. Hmm. A roasting spit? I need peblets and dry grass chunks. Then maybe I can make some food. Maybe I can make some food with this, right? My cam is blocking stuff. Yeah, I know. My cam's gonna block stuff no matter what I feel. Maybe I should put it on the e on the right side when I actually if I do a full playthrough of this, right? Hmm. Um so I need four pebblets and three dry grass chunks. Let me see if I can get these together. And if I can, I think I'm gonna try to make a spit and try to make some food and have a lot uh dandelion. How can I tell what's dry? I need to find dry grass. Here you go. Is this dry grass? I got two pieces. I need two more of this dry grass. And I need pebblets. Here you go. One. I gotta grab four of those. Ah. Nice. Okay, now I just need the pebblets. And then I can, uh... I can make my cooking thing. My spit. Here's some. I think I need one more. Slurp the nasty water. Did my torch go out? It did. My torch ran out. Oh, man. Now I can't see anything. Oh, no. I fell in. Oh, no. I fell inside. <clears throat> what happened? Crap. Now I can't see anything. <clears throat> what the hell? Oh, this is not good. I'm in here. It's pitch black. I can't see anything. Oh, wait. Okay, I got back out. There was a hole in the side. I'm tiny. I was a fool to have ever doubted myself. A fool like Klein, like Kaminsky, like Schmechter, like all Schmechter. of Ovenant. I am here in the backyard. Down in the backyard. I mean, I am speaking to you from the backyard. I am tiny! I should gather my thoughts. This is a momentous occasion. Wendell Tolley, official log, 89.08.05. Recording as I take my first Oof. steps into the miniature world. The I can't sights are unbelievable. What? The textures, the, the way the light falls upon every surface, the subtle patterns in all of the objects that surround me, the grass. I can't cook Even anything. Even common lawn grass Man. looks like a structure from an alien <clears throat> world. That sucks. Wait. What's that sound? The very earth is trembling. Over there, what could it be? And two more sprigs. An ant! My God, today, the world has changed forever. Uh. So, I can't, uh... I can't cook anything. I thought I would have meat from killing all those bugs, and I don't have anything. So that sucks. Sleep eight hours. Alright, right next to this fire. Hopefully the fire keeps the bugs away, right? Apparently it did, but now all my water went away, too. <laughs> that sucks. Analyze a grass plank and create a workbench. All 
All right, time to recycle. So I gathered those items just to have nothing. Like, it didn't work. <laughs> it sucked. I have no idea how you're going to get water, right? Like, how would you get fresh water? I don't know. And also, how the hell do I figure out how to get back to uh, <clears throat> the resource analyzer? I don't know how to get back there, right? Is that it? Oh, I think I see it. Okay, that helps. Okay, grass plank. No problem, Jade. Oh, You'll see in the video oh, later. We checked it out for about 20 minutes, and it looks like a good tour of Disneyland. I might actually do it as a chill stream later on. Look at this. You can make a ton of stuff. Look, a windowed grass wall, a workbench, a grass table, triangle wall, all these different walls, and plant fibers as well. <clears throat> Interesting. My brain power has hit level one. So now you can make a pebble hammer, poncho, hood, shin guard. So basically armor. That's good. You probably need the armor, right? To protect to defend yourself. Build a workbench. I need another sprig and, and another grass plank. How do you hold more than one grass plank? Now, but you're picking it up. How do I get more than one? I don't get it. I also need water, and I don't see any anywhere. I need food and water. I don't see any anywhere in the game. They're saying there's one up there? How would I get that? Ah. Nice and clean. Slurped the dew. So I got some water at least. But I need food now. I need to build a work branch, but I don't understand how. Oh, an ant. Here's some more of these. Oh, you can carry more than one. The ant's pissed. So you carry more than one, and that's how you craft. Maybe the mushrooms are edible. They were, but then sadly, I lost them when I died. I, I don't have the mushrooms anymore. <clears throat> Obviously, I want to craft a workbench in here or near here. Workbench. Here we go. Here you go. I got a workbench now. Use workbench. Analyze a clover leaf as a at a resource analyzer. Do I have a clover leaf? Yes. Here we go. It's pretty neat. I like this game. Science. Storage basket, clover table, and plant fiber. Science! Okay. Grab a piece of armor. What else can I analyze? Mite fuzz? I analyze all these items. Wow, you can do arrows, mite hat, stuffed mite, and fuzz on the rocks. Ew. <laughs> Analyze a piece of sap. We can't do any more, so it has to charge now. 
<clears throat> a plant lamp and a sap sconce. See, it's a charge that your battery is how much you can analyze at one time. Now I have to wait 11 minutes for that to charge up again. Okay. They want me to craft some armor, huh? Here you go. Grub hides. I can make a clover hood. What is it they want me to, to, to craft for the uh, for the story? Any piece of armor? So I make two pieces of rope. I can make shin guards. How do I make rope? I can do that right now. Shin guards. Wait, what? There we go. Okay. Craft and equip. Why? Why? It doesn't work. Oh, you gotta be on the workbench. Feeling a little safer now. There you go. I put on some shin guards. If I find more common ingredients, I can actually make a bunch of a full armor set. See that? A full clover armor set? Mm-mm. <clears throat> Is my mic low? Does my mic sound low to you? I haven't changed it. Investigate that oak tree explosion. If I gather more ingredients, I can craft more stuff. What was it? Sprigs and rope. So I need plant fibers and sprigs. And I can make the full armor set so I don't take insane damage. Find more sprigs. Gotta kill ants to get good armor, especially worker ants. Ah. Huh. So the worker ants are the ones you kill and you get their body parts and then you can craft armor, huh? It's kind of messed up if they're not messing with you and you gotta kill them to craft to survive. I guess it is survival of the fittest, right? So it kind of makes sense at the same time. It is kind of messed up to kill innocent creatures... Just because. What is this? Whoa. Ice caps mints. Someone dropped a box of mints in here. See that? Ha ha ha. Uh. If I had a hammer, I could... I could get resources out of these mints, but I don't have the hammer yet. I can craft it soon, though, right? <clears throat> huh. Here's some sprigs. Good. Clovers. I think I just need the sprigs. Let me check. Clover poncho. Oh, no. I need a lot more clover leaves as well. Here, I need to make ropes. Craft many. So, I have enough. I need to make one more rope. But then, I need up ten clovers. The clovers are all over here. Yeah. Kevin thinks I should put my yeah. base here. You think so? No Super Bowl vibes. Yeah, that Proteus game we played earlier, of course, is an homage to Doom. I mean, what else would it be? It's so close to Doom. Yeah. I feel like it's, if Doom went in a completely different direction and tried to bring in retro, that's what it would be like. Oh, there's a ladybug coming over here. Look. Ladybug. All right, so now I just need a few more plant fibers, and then I can actually craft the full armor set. Did I find some water? All I did is dirty, right? Nasty water. <clears throat> Here's plant fiber. There's an ant. What the hell's it doing? It's eating sap. Over ant. 
He's the worker, so he's not upset. He's just curious what I'm doing. I'm just checking you out. I don't want to attack you. I'm afraid if I attack a worker, ant's going to bring more ants. I don't want to fight a bunch of ants at once, you know? Here's one of these guys, Bull Weevils. Bull Weevil. Alright, I think we're good to craft the whole armor set now. Oh, here's some mushrooms. Can I eat the mushrooms for food? Because I am very hungry. We're about to find out. Choke it down, Pete. Yeah, it works. It fills your stomach. Okay. What else are you going to eat? You got to eat something. So I ate those mushrooms. That worked. My Now my water's low again. Who are the ladybugs over here? Just walking around. Alright, I think I'm going to craft the armor and then we'll call it quits. This is a good intro hour, right? I like the game a lot. I'm really enjoying it. I just, I obviously it's going to take a lot of time investment to learn its systems. Here we go. Like the hood. And the poncho. I forgot to equip it. Oh, I need another rope. feel a little less go. squishy now. So wait, I have the poncho. I, or I have the item. I have to equip it. I didn't equip Taking it. Taking a look. What did I do? I inventory. Where did I not craft the body? Maybe I didn't craft it. I thought I did, but I don't see it in my inventory. Poncho. I said I need another rope. There we are. So now here I am. Look, I got a full clover set. See that? Huh. It's pretty neat. My axe, sadly, is already at half, a, half capacity, so I might have to make a new weapon soon. They said that I had unlocked the ability to make the hammer. Maybe the hammer's better than the axe, but then again, the hammer probably won't, <clears throat> won't chop things, right? All right. So I would say... Initial hour of grounded is pretty good. I like the game, and I'm definitely going to save, and I'm definitely going to actually uh, download it. This is all on cloud save that I was doing here. So I'm definitely going to download the game, so when we play it in the future, the graphics will look a little better. Um, I like it. I had fun with it. What do you guys think? I think it's good. I think it's interesting to explore. Of course, it's hard to figure stuff out. I'm glad you guys are helping me a little bit. Once I announce that I'm, if I'm formally going to play the game, I'm sure more people who like the game will come by to help me. <clears throat> but I, I think it's neat. It just came out, by the way. It just came out today. Um, and this is the story mode. This is not the open survival. This is actually going to have a narrative. We're going to follow along these objectives. It's going to lead us through a story in the game. Apparently, there's boss fights and all kinds of crazy things in the game coming up. So, I like it. I would say, yeah, I, I would definitely consider playing this <clears throat> as a playthrough. Um, so there you have it. Thank you for watching the first part, and if I continue to play it, you'll see more coming. Thank you.